The answer choices kind of make this clear that we're going to be dealing with diction, uh, meaning one of these words is right because it's the word that we just say. It, it's not really a rule. We can't really look up any of these words in the dictionary and prove the answer. Um, in English, sometimes we just say certain things and, and that's the way it goes. And hopefully you can trust your instincts and get this right. And so for many of you, you know, this, this was a really easy question because you had strong instincts. It was during this time that I read an article about co-working spaces. We read about stuff. And maybe that's the best way to do it is, you know, you read about, I'll highlight the word there, but you kind of notice the words that are supposed to go together. And when you kind of cut out the extra, it maybe is easier to hear what the right thing is supposed to be. Uh, if you got this wrong, I don't really know what to tell you. Uh, maybe you've just, you know, A is maybe the, the second best answer you, you read an article into, but into is a very physical kind of description. So I don't know, that sounds weird to me. Uh, I think C, if you've picked this, you have, a, this is a bad instinct. Um, you shouldn't pick something like this. This to me sounds unnecessarily fancy, right? Like you're trying to sound smart and you're like, oh, let me sound like Shakespeare. No, that's not our job on the SAT writing. We are just supposed to write like we talk, like normal people. And so you don't read upon something. It's, that's just weird. Don't be weird. Um, the only one that I think makes a little bit of sense would be D. Um, you you could say this, right? Like, I read an article for my history class, right? Like, that's a reasonable case where the word for would be with the word read or read. Um, but notice the context is different, right? I'm not talking about what the article was about. I'm talking about the 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 purpose of having to read it right what it was it was it for and so that's how these little words operate in English is they're very context heavy and your brain it with experience in English gets good at knowing what the right word is based in the context without really having to think about it too much and that's why trusting your instincts is the best way to go if you don't have a strong instinct it might be because English isn't your first language my advice is just to keep watching TV. Watch the shows that Americans watch and listen to the way that people talk and you will absorb this kind of stuff naturally. There's no real way to study it. You just gotta get experience. So go out there and watch some, some sitcoms. It'll be fun and you'll be learning.